you realize you could have been watching something good on Netflix instead, like One Piece. What kind of a monster are you? This tragic kind. I'll be honest with you, I am an anime nerd big time, but I believe that. I did not want to watch One Piece because first off, I saw the number of episodes that there were in the anime. It's like a thousand. Jesus fucking Christ! And and the character design makes me nauseous. Well, Ironcaster kept like pleading, begging me, and then finally trying to sell me on it by telling me, it's Sonny Chiba's son. You've got to see Sonny Chiba's son in this show. And I'm like, okay. I watched the first episode and I was kind of like, Luffy is, is kind of goofy ass. This tragic guy. And then by fourth episode, I'm like, yes! Zoro is so <laughs> fucking cool. I want to keep watching this. I mean, he looks like he has the energy. So I say this as someone who has never seen One Piece, nope. but I mean, I've absorbed enough of it. But, I mean, he looks well casted. And I have to admit, whoever they, the woman they picked to play Nami, it was like, oh my god, wow. How are you that fine, f It's worth watching the live action one if you don't want to go down the giant rabbit hole that is the thousand episode billion page manga. It moves pretty quick. It's It's got a nice kind of superhero-y vibe and it was very enjoyable. I haven't watched all of it yet. I'm, I'm only like on episode four. I'm planning to watch it as soon as we get off the show. Our show is a little bit different from a lot of the other YouTube channels. Yes, we do talk a lot of shit about stuff. We do talk about stuff that we're very passionate about, sometimes in a negative way because it ain't good. But we also talk about the good stuff out there, the stuff that we like, the good games, the good shows, the good anime, you know. Sure. 